So if you go back, we talked about games. Another important class of applications is around content, newspapers, magazines. When you read a magazine, it is a really nice experience. So how do you create that same experience on the web? This is an important problem, and we have reached out to magazine publishers to help create these experiences. To show what you can do in terms of producing content on the web, I would like to invite Terry McDonald, who is the editor of Sports Illustrated. Walking out here, it occurred to me that I might be the oldest person in the room. Um, but this is, this is fine with me. In my business, still standing is a very good thing. The, uh, my brand, Sports Illustrated, is a monster traditional brand. Storied, extremely lucrative, started from a very simple idea, self-defining, becoming more and more complicated, and now changing faster than it ever has. And it's not just Sports Illustrated. In my company, Time Inc., every single one of the iconic magazine brands, I'm talking about People, Fortune, Entertainment Weekly, and Time, is changing very fast also. <clears throat> the reason for this is that empowered engineers and developers, like all of you in this room, are in turn empowering and helping me as an editor to create new versions of Sports Illustrated. That's why I'm here. I'm going to start with a, a video here, and then we'll go live. But the video, hopefully, will have a little swagger to it, and it'll show you, you know, sort of where we're coming from at Sports Illustrated. It starts with the first cover in 1954. Okay, we're live now. Driving today is the always dangerous David Link, founder of the Wonder Factory and SI's development partner in creating this live HTML5 prototype that will hopefully show some of the possibilities of bringing an enriched magazine to laptops, netbooks, and tablets. It's really, he's opening it from the Chrome store. It's really a very simple idea. It's to somehow pull together the best of the web, the best of the magazine. This came off press yesterday in Merced, our plant in Merced, to pull out the absolute most important things in the DNA of the magazine and translate them in a way that they're even more enjoyable, like the photography, for example. This goes very deep for us. We have staff photographers, <clears throat> the most popular things we have. And all the rest of it, of course. What I'm talking about here is a tightly edited, curated, free, open, social, searchable take on sports that you can customize for yourself by rearranging it. It's also, of course, going to have live video feeds, live news, live scores, like we have here. All of this built on a foundation of strong journalism and informed opinion about the stories of the moment, like Tiger here. And additional content that, in fact, will pull you in further, that will allow you to participate in this sports world. This is a, a poll that we're doing live right now about how to build a baseball franchise. It's not necessarily good news for the Giants. This um, is one of our, our sports columns. We have a number of these every week. This is, of course, boxing, which is enriched by a video that is about what happened outside the ring, behind the velvet ropes, in the background. <clears throat> you don't want to mess with Floyd. I just believe in my skills and I believe in my talent. And of course, um, here's hockey, here's your golf, here's the NFL, 
Always need video there, always need highlights. These of the number one draft choice, uh, Sam Bradford out of Oklahoma. Of course, you might want to not watch this now. I want to save it for later, which you can do here. But most important, I think, is to always know where you are in this magazine so you can find what you want and go directly to it. For example, here's a piece on the end of the road for Shaq. <laughs> kind of a bad call. The, uh, the typography here is very, very important because you came here to read this story and nothing retards reading like the formula fonts that we're so used to online. And say here, here's a, here's a strong portrait of Shaq. We can deliver for you video of this photo shoot and how we put that cover together, we can do this. This was a chancy call. The, uh, the idea also that you need to go deeper is very important because you might want additional stories about Shaq and his future. There they are. You might want to go wider. You might want to go into the NBA to see about LeBron. Or you might want to just see pictures of the last time they played together to see what that was like. And finally, uh, you, you, you probably want to share any and or all of this with your friends or whoever. And you have a number of choices there. And as you're running through this, you can always keep up with what other NBA fans are thinking and saying about the league on Google Buzz. All this stuff works very hard for the user. And the advertising, I think, has to work very hard, too. Uh, no more image messaging, really. What, what we need is stuff that is actually useful. So this advertising, I submit to you, can become so useful that it becomes content in and of itself. This is a new idea in, in advertising. Or it, it's not a new, it's a, <laughs> it would be new to actually deliver it. <laughs> you can, um, <clears throat> But as you see here, you can, you can change the lens and see what that's like. And then, of course, you want to buy it. So we can show you where to buy it. So what you can see that we're going for here is additional content of every kind, content that is uh, enriched and of the moment and feels different and right and like a magazine experience, like nothing else that you see on the web today. And when it is on the point of the most, in store, of most important stories of the moment in sports, say like in this case, the impact of, of soccer on world peace coming into the World Cup, uh, this, is, this is a very good and interesting thing for us to be working on. There we go. Now, like I said, this, this came off the press in Merced. It is that. Some of that was a little bit different, but it was live. But this is something that, uh, that we're very, very excited about coming forward with. And the reason for that is that in the fall of last year, uh, not long after SI released a, a video demo of what an enriched magazine might look like on a tablet, I found myself in a very small conference room in Mountain View. And it hit me there that I was at the beginning of uh, a, a, a veritable storm of innovation that might not be so new in Mountain View, but that was going to allow the journalism that I want and that my company, Timing, stands for to flourish and to completely reimagine, remake the business model to support it. So I'm thinking about you know, that quote in the sports movie, uh, Field of Dreams, where he says, if you build it, they will come. Uh, I would add an addendum to that. It has to be built open, has to be well edited, has to be searchable, has to be social, and it has to be everywhere. And if we do that, we can charge for it. It's great to be with you.